Hey, what is up guys? Matt and Jack here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be doing a $250 console streaming PC. Let's get right into it. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking to improve your live streams? Well, today's video sponsor, Owned, is here to help. Owned is the number one source for premium stream designs with a massive library of over 100 design packets and 1,000 ready-to-use emote sub badges and bit badges. If you stay tuned to the end of today's video, we will be showcasing one of their overlay packages that you can buy today by using the link in the description down below. With over 300,000 streamers using Owned's products, there is really no reason for you to hesitate hesitate. Head on over to own.tv today and special thanks again to own for sponsoring today's video. Before we get into this video, we want to give a big special thanks to Corsair slash Elgato for sending over their HD 60 S, which is going to be the core component that we use to make this console live streaming PC possible. So although we are thanking them, this is technically not included in the price because we're just focusing on the PC aspect, like the minimal PC specs that you can do in 2019 that's actually good to get into streaming on a console. And we're going to show another alternative to this that's cheaper, but you know, not as good because this is, well, it's an Elgato. So the main concept behind this PC is it's meant for streaming from a console using a capture card. And because of that, we are just using a CPU, which we'll talk about in a moment, that does not come with a graphics card, mainly because you're not gonna be gaming on this. It's mainly for live streaming. But if for some reason, which I hope you do, you out there, you console plebs, switch over to PC gaming, you can upgrade the system very easily to be a content creation and gaming PC uh, to finally get you away from that, you know, scrub console life. But it's okay. You don't have the switch right away. This right here will allow you to make some awesome videos using that console. Um, and let's go ahead and talk about what each part is and how it makes up this PC. What we have here is the AMD Ryzen 3 3200G. So this is a four core processor and it has APU graphics on it. And Matt and I have already tested it with and without a graphics card. In both cases, it's a really, really good processor and it does have an upgrade path. So in the future, as Matt said, you could always add a graphics card to the system and this will still hold up really well. Here we have the basic ASRock B450M HDV board. This is Ryzen 3rd gen ready. They slapped that good old sticker on there and also it has this, which I've yet to see, but you know, that's cool that it supports Athlon stuff too. So really good mother where we've used it so many times that I've never had a single issue with it. Here we have the good old T-Force T1 Gaming. We actually have yet to use this RAM. So this is eight gigs, two four gig sticks at 2400 megahertz. This is a little bit slower RAM. Normally, if you have heard Matt and I preach about this before, we say always go dual channel. We got that, but we always say get fast speed. This is a pretty slow speed, but we're going for the cheapest system. Come on, it's 250 bucks. It's gonna get the job done, but if you have a little bit of extra money, we recommend going with like 3000 megahertz because this APU would love that, but we're going cheap. Now for storage, we went with this Kingston 240 gigabyte SSD. SSDs are really cheap right now. You could go with a wide range of options on Amazon, but normally around the $20 price point is what you're looking at for 240 gigs. Um, and we have a lot of these. Well, actually this is our last one. Hopefully we'll be re uh, resupplying very soon, but 240 gigs, enough for Windows and enough to get some recordings on your local uh, PC that you may be getting from your console, but maybe invest in a hard drive if you're looking for more mass storage for video files. Now we are giving Raid Max a shot here with their X. 300 watt power supply. Ideally, you might want to go for a little bit more wattage if you plan on upgrading this thing sooner with like a dedicated graphics card. 300 watts should be enough for most modern GPUs, but if you're looking to go higher in, like upgrading the CPU and the graphics card, you may want to go for a little bit higher wattage. But this was a good value, and considering the pricing of power supplies right now, it's kind of a decent option to consider, especially when you're paying like 20 something dollars for a power supply really good value we're going to see if it works in this build and then to house this entire build we have our good old friends over at diy pc man it's been a while since we've done a build Ooh. from them this is the diy f2-0 um it is a case that we've actually used a long time ago in another video so if you're an og of the youtube channel you will definitely recognize this thing um nothing special it's kind of an older looking case but it's cheap and that's the key factor for this build we're trying to make it as cheap as possible <laughs> So how about we go ahead and put together this $250 console streaming setup for you plebs. Woo!
right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the setup complete. Let's do the rundown real quick. This right here is where the Nintendo Switch is plugged up, courtesy of our manager, Zach. Thank you very much. Uh, this is where we're going to be playing the Switch on. And then this right here is the computer with the owned overlay uh, setup. This is the minimalist pack, which if you guys are interested, you can check the link in the description down below. Thanks again for sponsoring this video. But as you can tell, there are different overlays here. It's a super easy, simple setup that you can just click install on your uh, Streamlabs OBS instance, or you can mainly add it using OBS if you wanted to. You will see that in the live streaming test here in a second. And then special thanks again to our friends over at El Gato. Right here is their HD60S Plus with 4K capable pass-through. Not really gonna be using that because we're using a Switch right now, but it is a nice capture card coming in at $200. If you wanna save some money, you can go with the HD60 if you really are using something like a Switch because that's all you really need it for. Um, it is a great capture card for the money. El Gato, thanks again for sending this over. Um, and what we're gonna do is go ahead and launch this live stream and see what we can do. I'm gonna act for you. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, how do I jump? Sounds good. Use it on the <laughs> shooting the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> it's the only thing I know how to do. Is that? <laughs> I think that's all you used to do. Is just like no. Oh, there we go. Oh no! He is still not dead. Oh, <laughs> dude, I was about to try to grab oh. you out of the sky. Oh, <laughs> you look, guys. Yeah, give it a w one out of ten. Brawlhalla better. <laughs> My grab, it did not work. You do want to see some of the other scenes from our sponsor of this video owned. We have the start screen starting soon. We have a pause screen where we're going to go to the toilet and get some coffee. Uh, we have an end screen and we have a talking screen at some point today. Right, here we go. We fit trainer. Wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was wait. watching you. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Oh, I forgot she that that stupid move. I remember I kept playing this chick cause, just because she had that. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> Is it like a volleyball serve? <laughs> Whoa, dude. Which I kind of find hilarious because the cabbage card we're using is two hundred dollars on a. Did I just jump off? <laughs> yeah. No, the whole PC would be two fifty. The cabbage card's like two hundred dollars. Yeah, the capture card doesn't count. Because <laughs> we just, we capture just cards. It. The the whole idea behind this is this like the cheapest like you can kind of do that's like new and upgradable for console streaming so you can eventually get into PC gaming yeah oh I just walked right into that yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the combo wamba Aya! holy crap what's happening right now no <laughs> you can do me like that. I don't even know, dude. I'm coming after you now, bitch. Oh. <laughs> Take my balls. <laughs> Take my balls. Ow. No. Bro, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's a horrible move. Ah. <laughs> dude, I'm playing ping oh, pong man. with your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like Mewtwo's long tail. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> R.I.P. Dude, I'm so lit. <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> I'm confusing child, Matt. You will never understand that you're a confusing child. Okay. He eats people. I think so. All right, well, um, there you go. That is... Uh, the live streaming test. Thanks again to OWN for sponsoring this live streaming test with their overlays, guys. As you can tell, this did really good. Here are a couple things we suggest if you want to save some money or make this more upgradable. <laughs> so you guys just saw some first action freaking streaming right from the Nintendo Switch courtesy of Zach on the Elgato HD 60S Plus. And of course, this was all done on a $250 computer. So big buck, big bang. <laughs> The big buck, <laughs> big bang. Hey, I'm editing this. I'm not leaving it. <laughs> a couple of things you could do to save some money with this setup is to get a cheaper capture card. Of course, the Elgato HD 60S Plus is a great capture card, but considering it's $200 and this whole thing is $250, um, you do have options like these weird ones that you can find on uh, Amazon that do kind of the same thing. Uh, unless you really need that 4K pass-through capability, you could look at some of Elgato's older capture cards too. Just keep that in mind. Another thing is the power supply in this. There's a 300 watt power supply. 
which is more than enough for this system. But again, if you want this to be way more upgradable to put something like a 580 or 570 or something like that, you may want to get like a 450 or 500 watt power supply, which we will leave options down below. Um, just a suggestion if you do plan on using this as a main PC at some point in the future, which is kind of the goal of this. You know, you get the taste of the PC action and you want to switch over and become a full-time PC gamer because us, you know, we're, we like the PC life and consoles, you know, Switch is a good alternative because you can't get those games on PC, but, you know. Once you are ready to actually switch over to the PC gamer life, one of the really easy upgrades you can do is just throwing a graphics card in here. You already have eight gigs of RAM, you already have a quad core processor that right now is a really good processor and a really good deal. You just throw something like a 1050 Ti, a 1650, like if you don't want to have to use external power, because we have done this on much lower power supplies. We've used 180 watt power supplies with something like an i3-8100 or even a Ryzen 2200G, 180 watts with a 1050 Ti, and it did it just fine. So you have 300 watts, so you have a little more wiggle room. You probably could go with maybe a 570 and maybe a 580 if you're kind of ballsy with it, but yeah, plenty of upgrade options for really cheap, 100 bucks more into this system, and you could actually play games on it. And with an NVIDIA card, you do get the option for the NVENC encoder, which will allow you to stream at 1080p if that's something you're interested in, because with this setup, we are limited to 720p on the very fast preset. NVENC allows you to stream a lot higher quality without having as much of an impact on performance. This is just a quad-core CPU. It can only do so much in terms of encoding video for live streaming. So an NVIDIA graphics card could be a good upgrade, like Jackson mentioned, 1050 Ti, 1050, uh, 1650 if you want to go that route. So definitely consider that as well if you're looking to take this live streaming PC to the next. So big thanks to Owen for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. For your, uh, don't use it for a while. How do you jump? Uh, oh. Yeah. I have no idea what uh, I, yeah. I forgot how to play this. Oh, but I remember this. Here we go.